should we be worried? Like, how much is 82.6%? Should we be out there and canvassing? Like, in some ways, I know that knowing that she could win um, incentivizes people to go out and vote, but in other ways, I worry that people will get lazy and not so, vote. So Trump has a 17% chance, and so there are some analogies here that I've become fond of. Okay. Um, it's about a one in six chance. So you have a one in six chance of losing a game of Russian roulette, right? Okay. If I offered you to play Russian roulette, you probably wouldn't do it. No. Um, you know, you're a, you're a professional poker player. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't do it. I mean, you know, one in every seven days is a weekend, right? So the chance that Trump wins about the same chance that it happens to be a Thursday, for example. So, you know, I think people are... Oh my God, today's a Thursday. Yeah, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. That's right. I mean, seventeen percent is not that low, right? Um, yeah. I'll also say too, you know. We so try yes, we should be cautious. We should be cautious. People should be cautious, and they should vote if they're into voting, which I hope people are. What do you mean if they're into voting? Well, I'm trying to be careful, right? I mean, you know, um, I'm not trying to advocate for. You're not saying who they should vote for, but I mean, it is a privilege to be able to vote. But you shouldn't sit out because you think that the cake is, is baked. I mean, there yeah. are cases where you've had polling errors that are about of the magnitude Trump would need to win. And by the way, there's probably a higher risk of a big polling error than usual this year. We have polls that have a very wide spread. We have a lot of undecided voters. We have lots of swing states, which is good. How can you be undecided at this point? Because you hate both. Can I mean, it's not like people are like, oh my god, I can't believe my wonderful choices, right? People, yeah. <laughs> if the polls are way off, if they've underestimated Trump voters, then he'll overperform in almost every swing state. Okay, you're giving me an aneurysm.